Peace, love, and apple grease. Quit playing with them. <laughs> yes, God. But yeah, we are here at Howard University right now. Uh, it's March 15th. Yes, sir. Yup. Yes, sir. And um, what are we doing here, Olu? Uh, We're passing out flyers the day before the actual presentation, mm -hmm. trying to get the energy, the momentum, yep. like all up. Real grassroots organizing happening on the historical campus and the grounds of Howard. Yes. Uh, but we're, we're here today, man, in hopes of redefining the narrative that we all inherited as new Africans, as black people, as people who come from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. And yeah, my name is Dez. I'll be your host. Well, I'll be the host for the series introducing my brother here. And you know, my name is Olu. Uh, I'm actually gonna be one of the panelists speaking mm -hmm. uh, where I'm gonna be talking about my business, Organic Harvest Digital Incorporated. OHD. Uh, OHD, thank you, sir. Uh, which is an agrotech company uh, based on basically addressing the problems of food security mm -hmm. and community hunger. It's, it's truly a blessing. It's a powerful really. movement, man. It really is, bro. And it's with the family. And we man. just getting started. Hey. Out here, Howard University, it is cold. It is really cold. Definitely a lot more welcoming. You feel me? When there's uh, folks that look like me and we're the majority, it feels really good. We're getting a good supportive response. When we're in Cambridge, it's like we're fighting tooth and nail to be in this space. Here we're in a space that was designed for us, you know? It's just humans collectively problem solving together to create more equitable systems for other humans. Without my history, I cannot uphold American values and uphold African ideology. They're in constant battle. Personally, I would consider myself a new African. Like activist Kwame Ture said, I don't think there's anything American about me other than being displaced in a space where I've been cut from my history and tradition. Because I know how beautiful, powerful, how soulful, how culturally monumental they all are. To the tech field, right? Your black identity. I want everybody else to see it. That you care about and, and that your community. How do you not only like solve those problems, but make them There's just big shoes to fill. So I'm constantly trying to figure out how to fill them. social impact. Most of the time, the way we accomplish this is using design thinking frameworks and their skills with programming to train. And I remember how useless I felt. I remember feeling like there was nothing that I could do to stop the white supremacist violence that was thriving institutionally through what I was learning in the school. Day of the lecture, we're headed back to Howard University campus. Um, we're about to go do our tech check, do our run through with the AV team. We're gonna have John on Zoom, um, make sure everything's working for him, and uh, hopefully get some smoothies, like some fruit juice after. Revitalize myself, you feel me? I'm gonna reserve my energy so I can really, you know, pop out. So, yeah. 
That's where we're headed. So, here we go. Here we go. All right. Not everybody had that like privilege to be exposed to that like black radical inclusivity so young. Grown up around Panthers, and grown up around educators who explain the like diametric opposition of the Eurocentric curriculum that we're learning in school. How it like diminishes our identity as Africans around the world. Sounds cool. How do I make it? Everybody prior, decades ago, that put their lives on the line for this to even be an opportunity for me to have. And I've had the privileged and blessed opportunity to do a lot, but it's because they've never stopped. The CEO and founder of Organic Harvest Digital Incorporated, hunger, poverty. 34 minutes until showtime, man. Um, yeah, we're winding down. George is practicing his talk right now. And whew, getting all the jitters out of my body. I don't see an end, you know? I see adaptations. I see more bridges to cross, more bridges to build. There's so much further to go. I don't, I'm not supposed to see how far I'm going. I'm just supposed to keep going. Peace, everyone. When I was 16, I started a tech company called GH Tech.